Good morning, Eagles. I'm Olivia. And I'm Haley. Our mission is to be prompt, polite, and prepared. Our vision is that each student graduates with the skills necessary to be successful in a college or a career. On today's show, we will be talking about the Medical Academy and how to help kids with leukemia. Stay tuned because ENN starts right, right now. now. Our Medical Academy here at school is one of the top model academies in the nation. It teaches students the importance of medical practice and how to be successful in their future careers. What classes are there to take for medical? I'm not sure, but Sierra can give us a little more information about the Medical Academy. I never realized how rewarding the Medical Academy was for our students. Especially to the kids that want to pursue a career in the medical field. Saving lives not only occurs in the medical field, but by donations. And there's many kids today facing medical problems that could use our help raising money. Here at school, we have a close tie to a young fighter with a special story. That was such an inspirational story, and Liam seems to be such a strong kid. There could be so many other students here with the same cases that we just don't know about. Speaking of school, let's see what's going on this week. Make sure to tune in That's tomorrow for another installment today. of ENN. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Haley. And I'm Olivia. On today's show, we'll be talking about Spirit Week, the life of a GJ student, athletes, and how sports injuries can affect them. Stay tuned because ENN starts right, right now. Uh, Haley, why are you dressed like that? Oh, sorry. I'm just super excited for tomorrow's pep rally and homecoming game. Well, Out of This World Day was Tuesday, so you missed that. But Natalie and Emily can help you be less confused. Uh, how did you... Never mind. Well, see, I changed super quick, and I think I might have twisted my ankle, but it's okay. At least you didn't uh, tear your ACL or something. You're right. Aren't those super common in sports injuries? Yes, and Ian is here to explain how they can affect all students. Wow, an injury can really ruin an athlete's career. And I didn't realize how many student athletes we have here at Jenkins. I know, but if you think about it, they're really not all that different from any other student here at GJ, and they love showing off their school spirit. Students can show their school spirit by buying their class shirt from their teacher sponsors. Freshman shirts will be sold in room 19222, as well as sophomore shirts in room 1221. Junior shirts are in 1215, and senior shirts are in 1216. Payable for cash or check for $10. I always have so much to do on campus. I just wonder how every other student's day is. That seems pretty accurate. Same for me, but since I play soccer, my schedule is a tad bit different. Oh, so you think you're cool. No, I'm just saying student athletes have a little bit different schedule. What's so different about an athlete's life compared to an average student? Now you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I guess so. But all of our students always come out to support our games. And I'm so excited for the homecoming football game tomorrow. Me too. Students must vacate the parking lot immediately after school in preparation for the football game. Football players, cheerleaders, wind dancers, band players, etc. Make sure to park your cars all in the sophomore parking lot. There will be lights on after the game, so make sure to not walk where there are not lights on. And students, we hope to see all your spirit at the homecoming game tomorrow where we will be announcing our 2018 homecoming king and queen. Have a great rest of your day and remember, please be safe and have fun at homecoming. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Olivia. And I'm Haley. Our mission is to be prompt, polite, and prepared. Our vision is that each student graduates with the skills necessary to be successful in a college or career. On today's show, we'll be talking about April Fool's, Prom Spirit Week, and Easter. Stay tuned because ENN starts right, right now. now. I am so excited for prom. I know, me too, and I can't wait for our last Spirit Week. I know, and I was wondering, do you know what the days are? No, but Natalie and Emily can tell us. 
Nothing really um, exciting happens in April. Olivia, are you serious? April is one of my favorite months of the year. I'm done. Well, we can um, go to a package from Malcolm to learn April about- Fools. Guess who's coming in a couple of weeks? Who? The Easter Bunny. Olivia, you don't still really believe in the Easter Bunny, do you? Maybe. All right, well, let's let Alyssa break the news to you. Well, all my dreams are crushed. It's okay, it was bound to happen. Well, what's bound to happen is to find out what's going on this week. Well, Eagles, that's all the news that we have for you today. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for another installment of ENN. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Olivia. And I'm Haley. Our mission is to be prompt, polite, and prepared. Our vision is that each student graduate with the skills necessary to be successful in a college or a career. On today's show, we'll be talking about the Muop Data Club, how important water is, and vital homecoming information. Stay tuned because ENN starts right now. All of our clubs here at GJ have such an enjoyable environment. For example, we have the Youth Alive Club that meets every Tuesday at 6.20 a.m. in Ms. Hall's room, 1213. You can enjoy a good breakfast while listening to a short devotional message. And then you have our Moo Alpha Theta Club, led by Mr. Morocco, who keeps students engaged with his high energy. Emily can give you a little insight on the club. I should really join Moo Alpha Theta. I have a math question for you. Approximately 400 gallons of water are used in the United States per day. What do you think it's used on? Showers, cooking, cleaning, but most importantly, hydration. Alyssa has more information on water for you. Wow, I never knew how much water is used in our everyday life. And we learn new information every day. Like any students wanting to purchase their class shirts. Senior shirts are in room 1216, sophomore shirts are in room 1221, and freshman shirts are in room 19222. They are all $10 and payable by cash or check. Also, seniors wanting to apply for the scholarship of the Academic Booster Club have to be a member by October 31st. The forms are in the main office. And a perk of being an Academic Booster Club member is that you can get a new lanyard for free. If not, you have to pay $5. The best information of all is what Malcolm is about to tell us. Have you gotten your homecoming dress yet? No, have you? No, but maybe that's what we should do since we have our checkout slips. And remember, the checkout slip or a note from the administrator's office is the only way that you can get access to the parking lot during school. And remember, do not go off campus for lunch or else you will have disciplinary consequences. And make sure to have a great rest of your day, Eagles. Bye.